back to Cleveland on the Rocks, El Eisenberg Bar, and I'm Matt, and that's Keith, and we got a new beer from Urban Artifact. Welcome back guys. So we got our beer here from Urban Artifact, and this one's called Kaleidoscope. This is Juicy Tropical Midwest Fruit Tart. So, this one comes in at a whopping 8.5%, and it's pineapple, orange, and guava. So, it's got this cool lady drawing a pineapple. So I feel like this can taste like pineapples. I'm really excited for this. Hell yeah, this is cool. Urban Artifact makes some really cool stuff. Yeah. Because we just did the, uh, the pickle. pickle one, and I thought that was like yeah. pretty good. Um, after you get past the smell of that one, I thought it, it was good. Me, but... It does. I'm like, oh my god, it's gonna be cucumbers. And then you get a little dill, and you're like, okay. And that kind of gives you, a, you know. So eight and a half percent is pretty hefty for uh, from some of the sours we've seen. That's for sure. I think this is the highest sour we've had so far, right? Mm -hmm. And we did what the last, the five or six last week, and huh, this one's kind of clear. Yeah, it's not like the juice uh, color of some. And the recent ones we did. Ooh. Dude, this smells like Hawaii. Is that like the guava you think? Is that the main? It's like a guava and like a little kick of pineapple at the end. Guava's not one of those fruits that I go out and get all the time, so <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just guessing on these flavors. You know? No, I think you're right. That's a very strong guava scent in there. There is a, a very big citrus kick in there and then like a little touch of pineapple at the end. I'm really hoping that it switches when you drink it. Yeah, it's weird because it almost like, I don't want to say it burns the nose, <laughs> but like there's, like you can almost smell the tart, the, the sour coming through that's ready to... You can almost taste it on your tongue. Doesn't it get in you right in the yeah. side of your mouth like, ooh, it's kind of like you're waiting. You're just waiting to try this. I feel like this is going to be good. Yeah. I'm hoping the pineapple comes out is what I'm hoping for on this one. So, you ready? Yep. Let's get into this. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers guys. Holy crap, that one's really good. Yes. It's a super well balanced though. Yeah. The the tartness isn't overtaken by the pineapple taste. Um so you know what I get you get like an orange pineapple taste in yeah. here. But the orange is a little less prominent than the pineapple is. The pineapple is like the mainstay here. The guava gets you at the end. Definitely not as juicy as like I was expecting. <laughs> and nowhere near as sour or tart. Like oh. it didn't you know, it's it, not doesn't disappoint. No. <laughs> this one, I think this is my favorite of the three we've done so far today. This is really good. It's all citrus on the tongue. You get a pineapple kick out of it. This is great. The guava yeah. catches you when you're talking. And I don't <laughs> I don't think you would ever think that this is eight and a half percent. No. Like this one, it, it could be dangerous. Like if you had a six pack, and no, I don't think you're gonna drink more than two or three of these at a time. But it, because of the tartness not being there as much as I expected, right? And I, I think to be honest with you, this would be one of the first ones of today that I could drink more than one of. Yeah, I would. Yeah, I would, this is really good. It's not super heavy, but mm -hmm. I think you know what we should do since we're doing summer beers and we're gonna have like a five six seven videos of summer beers individual ones yeah. i mean we'll, we'll be doing a couple of lives here soon but um honestly i i think this one would rank high this would be the best one yet to be honest with you yeah. in my opinion of the three that we've done i i think this is the best one to me this is really really good how much how much is a can of this i don't remember <laughs> From what I remember of the Ur Urban Artifact beers at the store, I don't think they were above like four dollars, five bucks, weren't they? Yeah. The other one I thought was only like three. Did I bring this one over? You did. Okay. Then I'm guessing it was around four or five. <laughs> <laughs> the ones that I got today were uh, about that. So all the, of the them taller were, ones yeah, or the, the short all, ones? Yeah, they okay. were all between like three fifty and five bucks. Okay. So. So, I mean, yeah, this that's not bad for one of these, really. Um, if you do get it in a six-pack, do you get a deal? Or do these even come in a six-pack, too? I, 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 I'm not sure if it's a four-pack or a six-pack with these. So Since the higher alcohol, I could picture it being a four, to yeah. be honest with you. And so, for some so. reason, all the sours that I was looking at today seem to only come in four-packs hmm. or singles. So Maybe that's a thing. Maybe that's how they, how they do them. 
I, to be honest with you, since we do beer videos on a whole ton of different beers, I usually just grab one. He gets singles and we just do those. Um, it's very rare that I actually get a whole four pack or a six pack of anything. And the last one that I did do that on, I kind of was like, Keith, one for you, one for my cousin, one for this. And we're going to, we're going to definitely only try one because I had one the other night and I was not the biggest fan. <laughs> so I've learned not to buy that many beers of stuff for me personally, because it's usually not a good thing for me. But the cans look so good. They have cake on them. <laughs> That's how I buy beer. It says cake. <laughs> but to be honest with you, I think when I go to the store now, I'm also going to start looking for pineapple on, on beers. I, I think pineapple and sour is probably one of the best combinations ever. Just be careful because a lot of IPAs will use pineapple oh. in there. So just make sure you're reading the whole thing. And I'm not saying don't get pineapple IPAs. I'm telling him probably not to get them. But do you like them? Yeah, I drink them. Okay, so I'm going to start grabbing pineapple stuff. And because Pepsi just came out with the pineapple Pepsi again. And you can get it only at Little Caesars now, I've heard. So we will be having that over here in the next couple days. I will grab some of those. Um, really excited for that. I love pineapple. I don't know what it is. Everything about pineapple is just fantastic to me. So yes. this is really good. <laughs> definitely worth a try. It definitely is. I mean, honestly, for five bucks, under five bucks, who knows, right around there. You're really not going to go wrong. This is probably the best one that we've had so far out of the last three videos that you've seen. This will be the... The videos all do go in order for when we shoot them. First, the second, third. So that way I can say this in the videos. And if I do like one better, I'd like this better than the last ones we did today. And that's how that goes. This would be my top summer beer right now. This would be one that I would pick. And I would probably go outside and... I could picture myself having two of these, to be honest with you. I might mean, probably go to a whiskey after that. So, But this is, this is really, really good. So... This is fantastic. Yeah. Urban Artifact, you do some well things. I, like, I really good. like you guys. Very good. Hells yes. Well, if you guys have anything to drop down in the comments, you want to see us drink any kind of beer, whatever your favorite beer is, drop it down there. Let us know because we want to do that too. I feel like it'd be really cool to try that and we'll tell you what we think on it. Right. Um, while you guys are doing that, if you guys are not at home, you're out with your friends, you're out at the bar, doing your thing, make sure you guys are not drinking and driving, get home safe, call an Uber, and just make sure you get home, man. People want to see you tomorrow. Make sure you're like, share, and subscribing on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, all them things, and grab you a shirt. Help us out. We'll see you guys next time.